Oh, satellite launch show, um, I mean, it's just an amazing process to be at. I think it's everybody's, well, at least my childhood dream to actually go to a rocket launch and be present with that. And then to be granted full access, get inside, actually touch this thing that's going to go into space and work on it is absolutely amazing. But um, there are some quirks associated with that I mean, because this is, this is an extremely controlled environment. There's very few places like this anywhere on the Earth. And the materials they're working with, solid rocket fuel uh, and liquid uh, oxygen, liquid uh, hydrogen. These are extremely volatile fuels. So in order to actually gain access to the sort of inner sanctum sanctorum, the place where we, where we build the rocket, uh, we had to go through some hoops. And one of the things that really came through in the end is that they were willing to grant me access, but they wouldn't necessarily grant the cameraman or sound access. Uh, nobody else could come into some of the really sensitive places with me. So um, because of my history and some of my personal training and some of the training that I went through there, they were comfortable with me going in, uh, but nobody else. So I kind of became a one-man band there for some of that. And some of the operations were bringing in the solid rocket boosters. This is basically a giant stick of dynamite, right? There's no... It's a solid fuel. If it gets ignited or if anything goes wrong, there's no way to turn it off. It's going to burn until it's gone, um, which would sh surely kill all of us in the building and probably make a pretty big crater, take out a big section of the whole space the facility there. So I would go into these, some of these places, uh, you know, dressed from head to toe in chemical-resistant clothing and with a specialized gas mask because there's all sorts of things that, that are potential dangers. Um, fireproof clothing, I've got everything ready to go. And I would go in with uh, my own camera wired for sound and I would try to document the process as I'm working, document myself by holding the camera out, document the other guys that I'm working with. And I mean, as a result, the, the, a lot of the footage you're going to see in this is pretty, pretty jerky and it's got odd angles and it's, it has a real sort of in the moment danger feel. And that's like, that's not staged at all, that's completely real. So you'll, you'll see some odd angles and you'll hear some some scratchy audio, but that's because I'm trying to produce a huge amount of this show all by myself from inside these controlled areas. And I just uh, hope people, you know, understand that uh, that's the way it was. I had to go ahead and do it that way because there's no other way to get access. And the alternative is to go home, right? Nobody wants to go home. We want to go inside. So for certain areas of this show uh, on the space station, it's pretty much just the audience and me. We're the only people that get in.